Convicted fraudster and conservative podcast host Steve Bannon is not happy with Representative Jim Jordan. On Wednesday, Jordan held a hearing on former special counsel John Durham's investigation into the FBI, which many, which you know, is many are seeing as a complete and utter flop. <laughs> Where's the crime in the century? Where, where is it? Where is it? Uh, now, Bannon, however, he has harsher words for Jim Jordan and the hearing itself. Let's take a look. That thing was a debacle yesterday. Is a is is can Jordan as head of judiciary mm -hmm. continue knowing that we didn't get the answers and you laid out and I like you to I'd like you to tell us who should be called for the committee. Can we have Jordan reinitiate this at judiciary? Jordan was pathetic. He tried to make it, Clark. Did he try to Saint Durham? Did he try to make uh, Durham Saint Durham? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The, the Intel committee is a disaster because they're not going after anything. They're not going after Sequoia. They've suppressed that. You've got Jim Jordan. Let's be blunt. The judiciary, if you didn't have Matt Gates yesterday and a couple of others, nothing. they were making him St. Durham. And it's a disaster, particularly for guys like you and John Sum and others, Hannity, that did a good job in trying to support this guy yeah. and get information out yeah. over years and years and years to see him. And he's also a pathetic human being. That was He was a homunculus yesterday, right? <laughs> it, was, it, was just, it was just some worm. Right, that was getting beaten by uh, getting beaten by the Democrats, and then trying to be held up by the Republicans until Gates came in and said, "Hey, this was an op." <laughs> okay. Oh uh, well, that, my friends, is what they call cope and seethe. Mm. Mm. Look, uh, the hearing was an absolute disaster. It was a debacle for Republicans. Their entire narrative, again is that, oh, we've got this report from John Durham. He was investigating the investigators, and that proves that there's a deep state conspiracy against uh, Donald Trump, the FBI, and the Department of Justice. But that's not actually what Durham's report said. Now, the report said that, hey, uh, you know, the FBI, you should be a little bit more careful before launching into investigation of a sitting president. Uh, maybe do a pre-investigation, you know, pre-look into it, and, and try to verify some of the claims, which is totally reasonable, okay? Uh, now, they also find issues with the FISA court, for example, getting a, a, a warrant out to spy on Carter Page. Uh, but again, all of that stuff was already referenced by the Horowitz report. And subsequently, the FBI had fired a bunch of people involved in it uh, and then, you know, in tried to institute some changes. OK, so there's really no point in rehashing the Horowitz report which is exactly pretty much what John Durham did. Uh, now, that said, you heard uh, Bannon right there at the end uh, talking about Matt Gates saying, well, obviously this whole thing's an op. Wait, wait, well, ho hold on here. What? Again, cope and seethe, right? Obviously, we didn't get the political outcome that we wanted, so it must be an op. It must, ah, deep state foiled us again. Really? Really? <laughs> Again, this is the man that was appointed by Donald Trump to uncover the supposed crime of the century. Either there was nothing there, which is the obvious answer, uh, or Donald Trump does not indeed choose the best people, the greatest people. Since everybody he chooses that first, you know, he's like, oh, genius, wonder, oh, they're going to do such a great job. And then afterwards... And I think Chris Christie had pretty much the best breakdown of this one. I know, uh, giving props to Chris Christie is the weirdest thing. Um, but for pointing out that all the people that Trump was like, oh, what great people that I can't, I'm hiring the best people. And then, you know, after they leave the administration, criticizing them as dumb as a brick. <laughs> Lazy as hell, Rex Tillerson, dumb. Lazy. The coffee boy. The, the, all of them. The, the worst people, then why did you hire them? No, you don't hire the worst people or the best people. You hire the worst people, apparently to you. Um, well, I also think some of them are happen to be the worst people. But anyway, which one do you think is more likely? Nothing there, big, not, giant, nothing burger, whatever, uh, or uh, op. Uh, the right wing thinks must be an op because I didn't get what I wanted. No, it's a complete and utter failure. This hearing was meant to fail. It was destined to fail because it was nothing more than a red meat political investigation and a pretty much a way for them to send a message. 
Stop investigating the right wing. 